And I take back what I said. Toby, you don't need to release this with a music video. I think the fact that you're releasing this with a still is giving everybody the opportunity to take in what is being played without diverting any attention and putting sole attention on the vocal display of what Angelina Jordan is doing here. Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shakes P. Keeping it 100. Y'all already know how we do here, man. If you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Click that post notification bell. Make sure to like, share, and comment down below. Right now, we're going to jump into a reaction. We got something special for y'all. We always got something special for you. But reacting to this young lady right here is always that much more special. I'm sure you guys can tell what I'm going to be reacting to by the thumbnail as well as with the title of the video. This is a donation request to my subscriber, my friend. Thank you so much for the generous donation. All the love and support that you show the channel and everything that you do to help with the different initiatives that we do have in place here. Right now, we're going to be reacting to Bad Valentine Piano Diaries. But I'm going to start it off with a message from Toby Gad. So we're just going to get right into this. So without further ado, hesitation, and all that good stuff, Angelina Jordan, Toby Gad, it is on you. Let's go. Hi, my name is Toby Gad. Thank you so much for your consideration for my album, Piano Diaries, The Hits for the Grammys. Specifically, for Best Traditional Pop Vocal Album, Best Engineered Album, and Best Arrangement for Instrumental Vocal for wow. Untouched. For decades I've been behind the scenes working with superstars like Madonna, John Legend, Fergie, Beyonce, you name them, to craft songs that become their personal story and those songs were songs... Ahem! And Angelina Jordan, Toby, ahem! Ahem! Just gonna throw that out there. You could have said Angelina Jordan and not Fergie, because since the Super Bowl, nobody cares about Fergie. Fergie doesn't even care about Fergie. Shh, shh, shh. Madonna, John Legend, Fergie, Beyonce. I'm going to edit that, and it's going to say Angelina Jordan instead of Fergie. You name them. To craft songs that become their personal story, and those songs were songs they performed at the Grammys and around the world. And recently I felt the urge to actually reimagine them and put them all on one record. And for that, we've spent a lot of time with this Bersendova piano making it. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. Like with the piano, like with the piano, di you guys are the all knowing. Hit me up in the comments um, and let me know. Is the piano diaries, I know it's all of Toby Gad's song that he co-wrote and wrote with the artists, but are they being performed by different artists? than the originals guys let me know in the comments below it sound mellow and warm giving it a lot of dynamic to the softest touch it has a really rich sound now and i played a very minimalist version arrangement that gives the artist a lot of breathing room to unfold and you can really hear the vocal you can dig into the lyrics feel every word i'm so happy how this came together and then my friend lauren conklin added some amazing string arrangements so sonically i'm really excited how this came together it's a whole new way of listening to these songs thank you so much for your consideration of my life's work on this one record piano diaries the hits so that was the beginning the intro that i wanted to kind of play because they both kind of go hand to hand because right now we're going to be playing the bad valentine version on piano diaries so i'm looking so forward to getting into this don't forget to like, share, comment, do all that good stuff. I stood you up on that and died. Okay, so I was told that this was a jazzy version about three minutes prior to the reaction. I had no idea. I like to go into my reactions blind and got super excited to find out that it was a jazzy version because you guys have been hitting me up so much in the comments with my other reactions that there's a jazzy version. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? So I'm still just as pumped as I was because like when I found that out is moments after I turned on the record button. I stood you up on that and died. Wow. Gave you no reason why. The stripped down version and slowed. Decided I cut you off. It's so sick. 
without a tear in my eye. The little subtle changes in tones and pitches. Like, Toby, why would you release this without a video? Why would you do that to us, Toby? Toby! Decided I cut you off. Toby! Shut up. Press play. Decided I cut you off. Without a tear in my eye. It's such a different song. I had to hide when I saw you. Holy shit, this is so fire. On some table fire too. I knew I'd never see the sun shine with you. So I spent my night with the moon. I thought I told you I would miss a pure. I warned you out from the start. Oh my god. Roses are red and violets are blue. You are a fool to try Cause I'm a bad valentine I'm a bad valentine Just had a feeling it was time To let the flowers die Maybe I've gotten so mean to you you're always so nice You even smile when you were hurt Sugar-coated my words When you should have been breathing fire And show me you're a fighter Oh, that's how you lost all your words Do you know how hard it is to shut me up? I talk in my sleep, for Christ's sakes. I swear to God, the last 15 years of Angelina Jordan singing has kind of led to this fucking moment in the sense that, like, there's so many nuances that she did in her younger days that she doesn't do now that she's brought back. She's literally mixing all of the old and all of the new and blending them so well together with the new and, and and old angelina at the same time by giving and paying homage to all of the greats that she grew up that inspired her like there's elements of everything in this i like i'm just sitting here in in shock and awe because i've done four reactions to this song already this is the fifth reaction and I'm just sitting here saying, like, I can't believe it. And I'm not even halfway through the song yet. I'm sorry to talk as much as I am. But if you listen to the details of what I'm saying, everything is just, it, it's, it's, I'm saying what we're all thinking. You even smile when you were hurt. Sugar coated my words. When you shut up and breathe the fire. Show me you're a fighter. Oh, that's how you lost all your words. And I take back what I said. Toby, you don't need to release this with a music video. I think the fact that you're releasing this with a still is giving everybody the opportunity to take in what is being played without diverting any attention and putting sole attention on the vocal display of what Angelina Jordan is doing here. This is crazy. I thought I told you I would miss it I would you right from the start Wow Roses are red, it's are blue And you are a fool to try Cause I'm a bad valentine Should have known if you only hear what you want to hear You're never gonna know me Should have known If you only see what you want to see I thought I told you I would miss you 
if, if this doesn't get scored in a movie, like Hollywood needs to burn to the fucking ground. Sorry, man. Sorry. This this how can this not be in like a Bond or any action movie or like any like drama? Like this has to be in like ten different fucking movies. Like sorry for swearing. Stop swearing. I swear when I get excited. Sorry. If you wanna see what you wanna see, I thought I told you I will miss of you. I want you away from the start. Yeah, if you don't think I'm bringing that back, you're really new to the channel. I quit smoking like six years ago, but why do I, why do I feel like I just like, whew, that was a workout. I need a cigarette now. Like, holy crap. I need a cigarette. You guys want to rewind it and do it all over again? I know I do. I need a second to process all that. Like, I know I'm an idiot at times, but if you listen to like the details of what I'm saying, it's like bang on fact. Um, Adele who? Sorry. Um, this was so good on so many different levels. And the fact that there's so many versions of this song out, I have a feeling that this is going to be the studio version that they release. I have a feeling that this is going to be the radio edit. I have a feeling that this is what's going to get pumped out there. Um, I just, I have that feeling. Um, I stand by what I said in the sense that from the early days of AJ to now, you heard elements through the course of time of AJ's development. And by stripping it down and not having a beat, by just having the strings, like in the original um, Bad Valentine at the cafe, allows Angelina Jordan to take runs where she wants and not have to stay to the beaded metronome. She can now be her own vocal metronome and dance in and out of the pocket as she sees fit. And what she did is like the analogy that I have to give off. And I'm sorry for like some people that don't necessarily know sports analogies. It's like, She's a professional athlete, and I always gravitate to baseball when I give off these analogies. You could go to a baseball game or watch it on TV, and the difference between average good and superstar is the sense that the greats make very routine, make very difficult plays look routine. What you think is just them standing and catching a ball, the average person wouldn't come close to being able to do that. And the difference between an average singer and a great is they make difficult things look super easy. And from beginning to end in this, Angelina Jordan made this look so easy. And I say made it look when I'm looking at a fucking steel picture, but she made what we just listened to sound so easy where 99% of the world's vocalists cannot do that and replicate that. There's, only a select few that could there you have it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages that was angelina jordan toby gad bad valentine from the piano diaries and as we saw at the beginning of this reaction toby gad is up for three different categories of grammys not the categories for bad valentine and this song but the fact that angelina jordan's 
album that she is on and contributed to is up for three Grammys is going to put more spotlight on this song as I don't know how many songs off of that album are new singles, but absolutely phenomenal. YouTube, y'all already know what it is at this point, man. Y'all know why do over here. I keep it 100. I keep it absolutely 100% with y'all. If you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Click that post notification bell. Make sure to like, share, and comment down below. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know songs, artists, things you want me to react to. I got you, but I will put it on the list. I say it all the time because it's true. Everything we react to on this channel is what you guys were requested so keep on requesting and i will keep on reacting to your request as always in the description is the link to what we're reacting to i'm not even going to ask you guys if you like it just click that link and make sure to go subscribe over to the channel even if you already are subscribed to the channel click that link let them know that shakes p sent you it is your boy shakes p keeping it 100 and i'm out peace yes who's back 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 again guess who's back guess who's back guess who's back